I maintain that there was no Europe. You're giving Europe credit for things that happened before the first European war. Shoe or lived in a house that had a window. <laughs> Just saying, you got to live your life. See, I notice a lot of this shit because I have a disease. I'm allergic to stupid shit. Now, some of y'all might have that same disease. But if you have the disease, you know for a fact that it does not start when you're an adult. It starts when you're a child. I ain't going back to Africa. No, 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 no. Because some of them Africans do not like us. Black Americans, they can't stand us. From the East Coast, you know what I'm talking about. I was in D.C. on tour, right, first time I went there. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go out and see the city. So I jumped in the cab, because, you know, nigga was broke at the time. <laughs> Wasn't no TV show or limo, nigga. It was taxi. <laughs> so I wanted to go see the White House, the Capitol, the Internal Revenue Service building. Just in case they overtax a nigga, I know what building to blow the fuck up. <laughs> so I'm in the cab. The motherfucking cab driver had the audacity to turn around and say, You're not too rich, you know, black man. You want to run that by me again, bro? I say, You're not too rich, you know, black man. I said, How black I gotta be, motherfucker? <laughs> Just because you one of the niggas that got away? <laughs> Because white people, when y'all ancestors came to pick us up, y'all wasn't looking for little bony brothers. Y'all was looking for big, cotton-picking motherfuckers. And them little bony ones over in Africa set us up. <coughs> you don't want me. <coughs> Look at me, cough out of time, got one nut. <coughs> Shambuku over there, big and strong. Me seen him pick up a whole oak tree by himself. I help you catch him. I'm sitting in the back getting mad the motherfucker. I said, who winning in this situation, motherfucker? You driving me to the White House. When he pulled in front of the White House, he looked in the back seat. All he seen was an open door. I was gone. Didn't pay for shit. Yell back at the cab. Now go back to Africa and tell him how a nigga done your ass wrong. You uppity motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they mad at us. If anybody should be mad, we should be mad at their ass. You know what I'm saying? I give white people props on this. When y'all have hostages, y'all go get them. I don't give a fuck if it's two. You'll have meetings. Look here, Jim. Bob and Susie are trapped. It's over in the Middle East now. We're going to have to go over there. You sure you want to cause an international incident over two people? I don't give a good goddamn if it's one. They're white. We're white. By God, go get them. They're Americans. Bring them home. Technically, we've been hostages in this country for 450 years. Not one canoe with a nigga with a spear has shown up to pick us the fuck up. White people, when y'all get mad at us, Please stop saying this shit. <laughs> Why don't you go back to Africa? <laughs> what? How the fuck we gonna go back to some shit we ain't never been to? <laughs> Y'all act like we born with maps of that motherfucker in our head. <laughs> like we'll just land over there. Take me to Shambuku's house. <laughs> now I'll go down three elephants, make a left of the line. The nigga over there, he over there. We don't ask y'all to go back to England. Y'all ain't from this motherfucker either. Yeah, here, so why don't you go to bloody England? Go on and go, punk sucker. And we cannot separate folklore from fact. Too many times we swear by folklore, not knowing that it has nothing to do with fact. You know what I'm saying? Me on this one here, nigga, I'm telling everything. I don't give a fuck. I expect my phone to be bugged after this motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me Einstein was a genius. I don't believe Einstein was a genius. 
I believe he was a crazy little Jewish dude with some fucked up hair looking at rocks talking about he time traveling. The motherfucker said the theory of relativity equals mc squared times the speed of light. It don't need me to disprove it because it's been over 40 years. It's still a motherfucking theory. When's it going to be a fact? <laughs> you understand know I me? Mean? Meaning energy equals mass squared times the speed of light. If this is true, how come a little motherfucker can whoop a big motherfucker's ass? He's got more mass, therefore he should have more energy. Why am I fucking him up, Einstein? Why, why, why? Because <laughs> he left one small detail out of his equation. Spirit. Or as in the uh, uh, Asian philosophy, they call it chi. Chico. A little motherfucker can have a spirit as vast as the universe. A big motherfucker can have a spirit the size of a grain of corn. I'm going to dominate his big bitch ass every time. <laughs> so the real equation is E equals MP squared times the speed of darkness. <laughs> Marinate on that for a minute. <laughs> MP would be metaphysical, the unweighable. Times the speed of darkness, because another lie taught us in school, nothing travels faster than the speed of light. You ever heard of a black hole in space that light can't escape? Must be moving faster than light if light can't get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> Even God said, out of eternal darkness, let there be light. So what color is God? Black. <laughs> As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. Two black people can get together and have a white person. It's called an albino. Two white people can't get together and have a nigga I know. <laughs> you understand me? So don't be mad at white people. They're your children. You know what I mean? They starting to come of age. They growing asses now. Keep a beat, nigga. I mean, they was just little crazy kids. We had so many of them in Africa, we ran them out because they looked different. So the shit started with us. We fucked up. We got rid of our kids. Said, you motherfuckers look strange. Get the fuck out. And they went to the Caucasus Mountains of Europe. That's the name Caucasian. And what happens when you put a kid up for adoption? When they get old enough, they come and find their biological parents. Didn't them motherfuckers come and find us? <laughs> come on, mom and dad. Get on the fucking boat. You're coming with me. You're going to get a you fucker! <laughs> Teach me how to dance! When Alexander entered Egypt, he wrote home to his mother and said that he at last reached the land where the Greek gods began, Apollo and Zeus. And he wanted to consult one of the great African teachers of oracles. And the oracle asked, how old is this man? He said, 32. He said, in 20 years, maybe he'll be wise enough to ask me a question that I care to answer. I have not heard a Jewish professor or any other professor give me a clear definition of a semantic. If you can't tell me what is a Semitic, you can't tell me what is an anti-Semitic. Tell you, you only care about your kids, your friends, your family, and the person you're in a relationship with. Ladies, y'all are in charge of all relationships with us men. You know that. So get on your fucking job. Yeah, even you, ma'am. Yes, please. <laughs> she had Tourette. She just hollered out shit for no reason. 98! Your relationship, ladies, is your relationship. Some of y'all are being greedy. Some of y'all out there looking for 100% good nigga. And let me just tell you, I had a meeting with all these niggas in attendance tonight, and we, we established there is no such a nigga. So stop looking for the motherfucker. And if we did have that nigga, he wouldn't want your motherfucking ass. Nigga, that white choir came out. Now it's 50 white people in white robes looking like the Klan. And when them motherfuckers start singing, nigga, it sound like that Damien Omen shit. <laughs> nigga, I expected the devil come walking out. Y'all like that one? I got one more before I go. <laughs> <laughs>